Many of you probably recognize this. This is the modified Pringle speaker that I made about a year ago, and um, I've been asked several questions about how I did it and uh, how the whole thing works out. So I decided I would finally make a video showing you what's inside. So to start out, I'm gonna take the batteries out. So as you can see, before I take the whole thing apart, there is a 3.5 millimeter jack right there that I put in the back of the real speaker. That hole is, I think, for bass or something like that, but didn't really do anything. This is so that I can connect an external speaker. It cuts out the front speaker. All right. So, and then can part easier than I remember. Um, let's see if I can. All right. So, I have a jeweler's loop here, and uh, if I use this, it works as a macro lens. So there you go, 1 watt amplifier chip. Speaker. All that. <clears throat> so, here is the audio jack that I used. It's uh, from a computer, I believe. Um, they're pretty common. I don't know if you can buy this exact specific one. But, um, let's see what I did here. So the white wire here and the gray wire there, those both go to the ground or the negative terminal on the speaker. I left those alone. The gray one was there originally. I added a white wire to this one. The color does not matter. I attach that to the ground pin on this audio jack. You can actually use any audio jack you want as long as it has an internal switch. Now I wired this up in a mono configuration I believe. Uh, this wire here is a more of a white wire and that goes from the output of the amp. Originally it went to the speaker here, but I put that on the uh, output. Okay, audio jack has those pins. The top pin goes to ground. The second pin down, that is the output of the amplifier. And that very last pin there goes to the positive pin on the speaker. Okay, to show you how this all works, when it's all put together, I have this running into my laptop, and it's got an audio player pulled up. So, when I hit play, because nothing is plugged in, it's going through that speaker, because the switch is still in place there. Now, when I take an audio jack connected to another speaker here, when I plug that in, it breaks the connection and it cuts it from that, it cuts the power from that speaker and sends it into this one instead. So. As you can see, plugged in, the switch is broken inside. So then the audio signal goes through those two pins into there. Unplug it, switch contact goes back together and the, goes through the first and the third pins instead. So it's really, really simple. I'm gonna put this thing back together now. I drilled the hole right there. As you can see, drilled a hole big enough for that to fit through. And the whole thing just fit together nicely. And there, just the pressure against the back plate there, that's enough to keep the jack from coming out. So, you know, 
plug it in, take it out. It doesn't come out. So there you have it. Very simple Pringle speaker pack. Original video in the description if you want to see it in action. So there you go. Any questions, leave a comment below. Feel free to write, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you back here in the very near future with more videos.